In this video, I will be demonstrating how to assess muscular fitness using a few different tests. For muscular strength, we will be performing a 1RM and a submaximal 1RM strength test. And for muscular endurance, we will be performing a modified push-up and a full push-up test. Equipment needed for these assessments include a weight bench, weights, clamps, and a partner to use as a spotter. For the push-up tests, you could use a mat, which is optional. I began the 1RM test by first completing 5-10 to 10 minutes of aerobic exercise, some upper body dynamic stretches, and then completing a number of sub-maximal repetitions of the specific exercise as a warm-up. I began by doing reps with just the bar to get accustomed to the movement before beginning the actual strength tests. It is important to keep the feet flat, back straight, and a closed grip on the bar at all times. I continued the warm-up by doing reps with a light load, heavier than just the bar, to get a better feel for it. After I was warmed up, I then selected an initial weight that was within 50-70% to 70 of my perceived capacity for one repetition and performed a few reps with it. Resistance should progressively be increased by 5.5 to 44 pounds until one cannot complete the selected repetition. All repetitions should be performed at the same speed of movement and range of motion to instill consistency between trials. It is important to make sure you rest between 3 to 5 minutes between trials and the one repetition mag should be determined within 4 trials. The final weight lifted successfully through full range of motion, unassisted, with proper form, is recorded as the absolute one repetition max. After completing the one repetition max test, strength to weight ratio can be calculated. The formula for strength to weight ratio will be bench press weight ratio is equal to the weight pushed in pounds divided by the body weight in pounds. For my one repetition max, I was able to push 225 pounds and I weigh 180 pounds. So I divided 225 by 180 and I ended up with 1.25 as my bench press weight ratio. One can take this value and classify it according to ACSM using their tables in the book. Although a submaximal test is not a direct measure of pure maximal strength, this test is much safer than a 1RM lift because it involves submaximal loads. It is great for assessing sedentary, older, and adolescent populations. It doesn't place a huge amount of weight that may cause injury. Submaximal tests are also great for assessing a large number of individuals in a safer and time efficient manner. To begin the test, one should warm up with more than 10 repetitions. It is important to also rest 3-5 to five minutes between trials. One will increase the weight until fatigue is reached between 2-10 to 10 repetitions, and that will be your reps to fatigue max. After performing the reps to fatigue test, one can use a predicted 1RM formula to predict their 1 repetition max. For the formula, we'll be using the weight lifted in pounds and divide it by 1.0278 minus 0.0278 times x, where x is equal to the number of reps performed. The push-up test is administered starting in the standard down position with the hands pointing forward and under the shoulders, back straight, head up, and using the toes as a pivotal point. And for the modified knee push-up position, legs will be together, lower leg in contact with the mat, with ankles plantar flexed, back straight, hands shoulder width apart, head up, and using the knees as a pitiful point. You must raise the body by straightening the elbows and return to the down position until the chin touches the mat. The stomach should not touch the mat. For both the full and the modified push-up, the subject's back must be straight at all times and the subject must push up to a straight arm position. The maximal number of push-ups performed consecutively without rest is counted as a score. The test is stopped when the client strains forcibly or unable to maintain the appropriate technique within two repetitions. After completing the push-up test, one can categorize themselves based on age, sex, and number of push-ups completed according to ACSM using this table.